Hello everyone on YouTube and welcome to the seventh part tutorial of how to model the road city. So this time I wanna show you how to texture the top side of the road, basically where the vehicles or whatever you wanna you know ride on it. Um, so this is the roads and we are gonna texture the upper parts. So uh, basically, I really hope you, uh, you know, you save all the backup layer. You made saves on the backup layer, so uh, we can pull out something from there and work with it. So, first of all, let's um, hide everything except, uh, yeah, we want the this to be added to the bridge or bridge two. I'm not sure. Let's see which bridge is the right one. Something is missing here. Okay, never mind. Let's just add it to one of the bridge layer. And now let's bring in the backup layer. So we have the roads, right? And inside each road here, uh, we need to have the curves, okay? Now, I really hope that you did save those. <laughs> because uh, otherwise you might need to create this all over again or if you find a way to uh, you know apply a texture uh, like the way I gonna show you so uh, you know note me and tell me how you did it because apparently I didn't find any way to apply the texture to the top of the road uh, only in one way and I will show you this in a second but it will require from you to uh, do some more things so what are we gonna do we're gonna bring these three uh, roads grab them control D to duplicate them okay now the duplicated items are uh, basically the selected ones so right click on the backup layer and choose to remove those from the selected object the selo uh, remove this selected objects from this layer because they are automatically assigned to this layer because they are belongs to this layer so when you duplicate them they uh, belong to this layer uh, so we need to remove them now I will hide this backup layer and I will have only those three uh, selected roads so what, we, what I wanted you to do is grab only the polygons roads okay and delete them. It will left you only with the curves we had uh, that we start off by creating those rows. So what you're gonna do right now um, you're gonna create a plane okay like this here is the plane and we're gonna open the attribute editor for it and from the poly polyplane one we're gonna reduce all the subdivision width and height and switch to the move tool now we will start off with let's say this one okay so I'm gonna bring this plane over here and I want this to be at the same points of the vertices of this okay I will show you what I mean if I will grab this uh, curve and right click on it, choose control vertices this is the end of the curve so I basically started this curve by drawing it from there so first of all let's bring this over there okay and the way you uh, you know you know if this is the start or the beginning is by control choosing the control vertices and here you will have this empty square the U and later you will see only dots here okay so basically this is the start point but it's not the start point this is the start point the U okay now we need to bring this plane right click grab this right click on the uh, curve choose control vertices <coughs> so now this highlighted in green this is bluish you hold down the V and with your middle mouse uh, key you click on the U 
and try to snap this plane to this vertex point okay now yeah grab this circle okay while you first while you click on the V the square here is turning into a circle right so you hold this V key and you click and grab this circle and attach it to here now basically attach it to here okay and you must have this U okay outside of this plane okay don't bring it in it's okay to bring it in I think but it's better to be outside here so then you can right click on the plane choose edge grab this edge shift select this curve okay and go over edit mesh by the way we have on our curve 100 spans we rebuilt it if you remember so now it has 100 vertices basically 100 and 103 I think or two so you go over edit mesh click on the extrude option and type in here 100 okay and click apply so this will extrude this um, you know this edge following this way okay now the next thing you want to do is you want to go and grab your texture so I will provide you a link to the texture we already used this texture once in um, you know in other um, tutorial the tunnel road tutorial but as you can see we have one problem here and the problem is that we need again to adjust this uh, road because it's still curvy here in this area but let's first apply the texture and then we will see from there what we can do so press F8 to bring it back to object mode let's create a copy of this control D okay creating a copy and this time this one let's just bring the copy up let's grab this and open the channel box and assign this to the backup layer okay so this will go back to the backup layer and that's fine so now we have this right click on it assign new material we will choose mental ray Maya material X now if you don't see mental ray here or in the render setting what you need to do is to go over window setting preferences plugin manager and you scroll down and look for Maya2MR so Maya2MR dot bundle in my case because I'm using Mac OS okay and if you're Windows if you're Windows users uh, search for Maya2MR dot MLL okay both are the same and they do exactly the same thing so check those two boxes and close next time when you see when you click assign new exi assign exist assign new exist sorry <laughs> assign new material uh, then you will uh, see the Maya material uh, X here with the mental ray tab here. Okay, so click Maya material X, click on this tab that uh, you have here, and then where is the color? You click on this checkered box, file, you will see this menu right now, image name. You click on this icon folder, and you navigate to your. Uh, to your texture uh, folder now it should be your own texture folder you need to create it manually you need to download textures and find you know <laughs> uh, the texture that fits you that you need to for your project but um, I will provide a link for the texture that I'm using by the way I know that some of you knows this but I'm um, trying to speak in to you know to instruct in general even for people that had haven't uh, used Maya before uh, or people who just uh, you know have less knowledge about it so basically what I've done here I don't know I'm going to my backup and Mac apps this is where I store my uh, texturing textures so yeah and here I have road road yeah this one and click open now in order to see the texture I need to press 6 above the letters okay 
and that way you will see the road is perfectly following this road path okay now the reason I've done this whole procedure that way is because if I were trying to apply this texture to the roads I already have it wouldn't work okay and basically I will have a lot more work on trying to lay the UVs uh, that way so it's better to just use this method and basically now if I will just go over uh, sorry the layers and bring on the roads okay so I can just put this road on top of the road and that way I will have my road here okay which right now I'm not sure why this road is oh okay so one thing I forgot <laughs> is that I had to you know scale this road before I was extruding this but I will leave it for you <laughs> for you to do this okay um, also you see what's happening here it's getting a little bit uh, messed up because if you remember as I told you I was um, grabbing all those vertices sorry all the vertices of the uh, first road I had and basically I was manipulating them by rotating them so this is really why this it looks like this right now okay so you basically need to do to come and do this all over again but if you really need to create this and make it better I'll just suggest you to do this all over again you know and that way it will be much more easier for you but this is mainly the thing that you will need to do in order to create a road uh, let's do this just one more time but this time we will pay attention for the thickness of this and we will choose this road okay so let me first um, let me first oh I'm having trouble with Maya okay so I will save this scene so later on I can work this out but I will close Maya and open it again <clears throat> apparently there are bugs here okay um, it was it's already happened to me I don't know well what's the reason for this but apparently bug okay so once again I'm going to do this quickly I have this here right click choose control vertices so the U is not here and the MP square is not here that means that this line has been started from here okay and I need to sorry one second alright so I back and so this is the start point here and I'm going to create a plane again here is the plane I'm gonna change the values let's zoom in change the values of the subdivision width and height and let's grab this and you see it can it can stay there and I can come with my camera over here and basically hold on the V and snap it over here but first let's control right click on the curve control vertices so I can point to this vertex and oh sorry V and drag it over this vertex sorry this vertex okay so it's here but this time I won't do the mistake I've done earlier I will just bring this uh, towers okay and I will scale this plane to be at the same uh, same size as this path here okay so whoa sorry only the plane scale this to about so and then 
I can let's see this let's just make sure it's really scaled like so okay and hide the tower now that I have this press F to select this plane but press F to zoom on it so now when I'm rotating it's following this okay and then basically I don't know why ah yeah so right click on the plane grab this edge right click choose control vertices on the curve I just want to see the curve okay so the U is here out of this and we are going to grab sorry we are going to grab this edge here and so shift select this curve and go over edit mesh by the way it's the same divisions of extrusion 100 okay and click apply okay now the road has been created and as you know we will probably need to adjust it or not this one is a little bit more stable so what I will do here is um, just press F8 control D to duplicate this bring this a little bit up and bring these to the backup layer okay right click on the backup layer add selected objects and now I can right click on it and by the way this road if I will open the attribute editor it's my material x1 so I will apply this same existing material because we are already created it it should be in the existing material here and my material x1 so you see this how easily it's it's created we have a problem here with this one I'm not sure why it's acting like that let's try this again sign existing material alright never mind not really a big issue okay so let's bring the road roads one I think and roads two so you see now you can just lay this on top of your road that way and press 3 to smooth this and you will have a nice road on top of this as you can see I do have some issue here so I will grab these and of course it's all about tweaking sometimes so don't be lazy do this uh, also here we have a problem so we can bring this up a little bit and maybe turn this a little bit like so you can press if you selected vertices and press F it will zoom on them okay so you will have easier to manipulate this and see what's going on rotation something like that maybe those a little bit up or maybe a little bit rotation that way and then down now if you find it a little bit you know uh, you see the rotation tool is not really uh, the same as the vertices so you can double click on the rotation and choose different ro rotate mode local or object or let's see world not sure why I don't see them right now maybe the gimbal no okay let's leave it that way this is mainly because I've somehow uh, <laughs> I took those you see uh, if I will gr bring this up here okay wait where is the manipulator here you see what I've done here uh, make this edge like that because I needed to try and you know manipulate here in order to fix problems here so basically the flow of the edges is not the same as uh, all, all the way so you need to maybe bring this 
a particular edge that at the same spot and maybe to uh, give it the same flow okay as the lower part now if you really find this a little bit hard I just suggest you to create delete this thing I know it was a lot of work but apparently I don't see any other uh, way to you know get around this so try to do be to do your best and if it doesn't work and it's hard for you to match this thing so just do this all over again but the main thing is to show you how you can create a texture that goes all the way following this path um, even if it's slalom, slalom kind of path okay and that's pretty much it now uh, one more thing so, sorry one more thing is that you do not have bump map and no specular maps for this we're using my material X so we basically have uh, our um, bump so if you want to choose bump um, you can go and you know take this uh, tunnel road uh, tutorial that I made and you will have those links there of the I think that the bump map is also here but uh, as I recall I teached how to create this texture bump map from this uh, you know from this uh, texture so this is it hope you enjoyed this tutorial that you learned something and I really sorry that it takes take me time to continue this tutorial but the thing is that uh, even I trying to solve this riddle and try to understand what I want to do with this scene and how I want to do it and sometimes many times <laughs> sorry I have my I don't I don't really know um, how to deal with uh, things right away so I need to make my own research and find um, the best way to you know uh, show you uh, how to do this so this is uh, pretty much uh, the reason and also next time we will probably create the terrain and everything to uh, you know all the grass that you've seen on my uh, pictures that I post in my Facebook fan page so uh, we will learn also how to add this grass to the terrain that we will create and we will see how this uh, how this goes okay so bye for now and hope you enjoy this tutorial see you at the next part whenever I have time to do this and that's it bye